What's going on, everybody? This is Jeremy of The Quartering, and I'm going to read you a couple of news articles while I sit on my couch and then give you my opinion on them. Just kidding, everyone. But I am going to read you a couple of news articles and give you my opinion. I just wanted to come on here real quick and talk about this 14-year-old boy that lost his life in an amusement park ride, uh, Tyree Sampson. There he is. Um, the part I wanted to talk about is uh, right here. Although additional details about the incident remain the subject of an ongoing investigation, the boy's family has raised concerns that he may have been too large to safely ride on the attraction. Samson's father, Yarnell Samson, told CNN on Friday that his son was 340 pounds. According to the ride's safety manual, the maximum passenger weight is 130 kilograms, which is roughly 287 pounds. Be careful when seeing if large guests fit into the seats, the manual states. Check that they fit within the contours of the seat and the bracket fits properly. If this is not so, do not let that person ride. Now, the first part that I have concerns about is the fact that the family had concerns that he may have been too large for the ride. Yet, they did not intervene and stop him from getting on the ride. They could have said, no, sweetie, that ride looks like it's a bit too much for you. Let's go find something else. He may have had a temper tantrum. He may have thrown a fit. He may have stomped around and gotten mad for a minute. But he would have gotten over it, and he'd be alive today. And the other thing is... You're expecting a carny worker to confront an obese person and tell them that they can't ride a ride when you have people like Tess Holliday who would freak out and carry on and throw around a bunch of profanity and ignorant language and call people fat phobic because she's too large to ride on an amusement park ride and she doesn't want to face her own addictions and and heal her own body she just wants to blame it on society and call herself an anorexic you know um this week uh almost almost simultaneously Stephen Crowder put out um his video of uh, where he infiltrated a fat acceptance movement and um, did it at like you know attended a seminar dressed up as a as an obese woman and and gave an entire speech about um, fat you know being obese as a form of self care in the age of Trump. And uh, within days of that being released, um, the major head, the major header of that group and of the of the convention was uh, found dead in her sleep. And she was only fifty years old, and that's very, very, very young. And it should not be. Um, nobody. Nobody should die that young. That's you're only hardly just figuring out what the hell you want to do with yourself and and what you really really like in the world, you know. And it, it just distresses me that we've come to a point in our society where we celebrate gluttony and sloth and and vanity and pride above all th and lust above all things. You know, nobody, nobody cares about a, a, a skill or a talent anymore or, and nobody cares about, about crafts or, or making art. They just consume and it doesn't even matter what they consume. They just take it all in, even when it's 
dumb and terrible and stupid and mediocre. They just take it all in and get more and more and more and more. And it's empty and sad and pointless. Like, like so many simple carbohydrates. And the world just makes me absolutely sad. <laughs> and uh, the only hope I have, oddly enough, comes from China. And this, this old article that I found from May of, of 2021, when um, they banned mukbangs and binge-style trough eating um, from being on television or, or being on Chinese media of any kind. And they are now fining production houses $15,000 if they are caught producing or telecasting, anything of that nature. Um, here's the, the, with this article, I find this absolutely hilarious that like, there's one restaurant right here. The New York Post states that a restaurant situated in a city in the Honan province is now serving meals according to the customer's weight. They also installed a weighing machine, you mean a scale, at the entrance so that the diners could weigh themselves before they proceed to eat. Now, this screams to me, actually, I say China brings me hope, but this screams to me of some sort of weird social credit system that we don't quite grasp yet. And that weighing machine is attached to some cloud service that collects the data and reports back to the government. You know, there's right now, there's nothing stopping anyone from eating at one restaurant and then going to the next one and then going to the next one because not everybody has this weighing machine, you know, just this one place so far. But uh, when they do, that's when you can only eat at one restaurant and you have to weigh in and it's reported to the government. Anyway, I did not intend for this to go all sci-fi and weird. I just wanted to talk about how fucking strange this planet is and how really, really distressed fat acceptance and body positivity makes me. And that's all I have to say. Good night, everybody.